Hello my beautiful friends, it's 6.30 South African time and as I promised you, I'm going to join you every single night for the next week <clears throat> till Sunday so that we can just access some feel-good feelings, connect with each other and support each other and help each other through this very interesting, amazing time that we're going through. So if you're there, let me know. Um, tonight, I am also going to see if we can answer some questions. If there's anybody out there who feels that something is very complicated for them, let me know and uh, we can answer some questions. Um, I'm really, really good at tapping into what it is that you believe about yourself or life or about other people that is creating your reality. And it is very important that we understand that what we believe, what we believe about ourselves and about life, about other people, what we believe is what we will experience in our reality. We are creating our reality with what we believe. So if you're out there, let me know. Hello, do we have some people there? Um, I'm gonna sing some songs. I promised to sing a, a song that really changed my life tonight. Now, I sang this song for years and years and years on, on stage and um, felt like a fake. Felt like, wow, I don't know if I believe what I'm singing here, you know. And um, I know I, I must have sang it like hundreds and hundreds of times thinking, I'm lying. This is not the truth. But you know, I kept singing the song, I kept singing the song, and today I can tell you honestly, it's the truth, I feel it, I feel it in my cells, I feel it in my life. It is amazing to be alive, it's amazing to be here with you tonight, thank you for joining me, hello Louise, and we have, is it Amrita? So tonight I'm also going to Anami, hi, if you guys have any questions tonight, please feel free to ask me any question. Um, I'm going to tap into your energy and see what it is that you believe that is creating this um, situation in your life. So if anything is not flowing for you, whether it is your wealth, whether it is your health or your relationships, I'm going to take one question tonight and we'll quickly get to that. Um, and I'll, I'll assist you as best as I can. I've explained that whatever we believe about ourselves, create our reality. So it's always a good idea to become in awareness because awareness is truly the beginning of change. I'm going to sing a song for you tonight that has been a life-changing song for me. And I remember when I wrote the song, it made me feel free. But so many times I would sing this on a stage and I would feel like a fraud. I would think, hmm, you know what, you're singing the song, but you do not actually believe the words and you don't feel it. I felt like a fake on stage. But you know what, I kept singing that song. I kept singing it until I believed it and until it became my reality. I say it again, whatever you believe will become your reality. So it's really important for you to become in awareness. So I'm not saying focus on your on, on your negative things in your life. Don't focus on what's triggering you, but pay attention to what is triggering you because it is triggering you for a reason. It's telling you, hey, something needs to change. Something's out of balance. And we cannot change other people even if we want to. And trust me, I've tried. We cannot change other people. We can only change ourselves. So is there a question tonight? You're very welcome to ask me. If something is currently feeling for you, like it's very complicated, and you need just a little bit of guidance on what it is that you might believe that is creating this unwanted reality for you, you're very welcome to ask this question, and I'll get to you. My whole purpose and reason for getting here together with you every night so that we can access feel-good feelings together. And if you are currently feeling in pain, whether this is physical, mentally, emotionally, or even spiritually, let me know. How are you guys feeling? So um, I want to know 
what is going on in your life. How are you feeling? Are you feeling good? Are you taking strain physically? So let's access the sounds and the vibrations and the frequencies that you will need to feel better. Music is incredibly healing and when I access sounds and frequencies, it can really assist us in releasing pain physical pain, mental, emotional pain. So today I'm just going to also focus on that so that we can release any discomfort or dis-ease that we're feeling in any area of our lives. Jenny Faber, thank you very much for that question. Unfortunately, I only sing Neon Nell songs. <laughs> and if you were wondering where you could find some of my songs, you're very welcome to tune into iTunes. You can just type in Neon Nell, N I A N E L L, or you can type in um, neonell.com, go to my website, and you can go under my products and you'll find all my music there. I have eight solo albums, and you can purchase my albums on my website www.neonel.com So I promised you that I was going to sing a song that changed my life. Now this song I wrote many, many years ago. And I remember I spent most of my life trapped in fear, in absolute fear. And I sort of channeled this song to encourage myself to go beyond my fears. And as I said, for many years I sang it and I felt like an absolute fake and a fraud on stage. But I kept singing this song until I believed it, until I could feel it. And today I'm going to sing it for you because I am truly, truly feeling it now. So here it is, this one I call Finally. It's on my album, My Heart. You can find it on iTunes. You can go to my website. It's there, www.neanel.com. Find it there and you can buy the product my website. This one's called Finally. Shade.
So I told you, for many, many years I sang this song on stage and I did not believe the words. But I continued, I sang it and I sang it until I could feel it one day. And I'm telling you now, I was sitting down here and I'm thinking, oh, you gotta stand up and sing this song. Sitting down on it feels like I'm sitting on my life. Lungs a little bit. Hi there, Astrid. Charlotte, thank you for, is it Carly, thank you for joining me. So if there is a question tonight, you're welcome to ask me. I can assist you in just becoming aware of what it is that you are believing that could be creating a reality for you that you do not want. And while you're here, sign up for my free training webinar coming up on the 30th of March. I'm going to release three training videos. It's free, free, free. So sign up. Thank you so much, Cara, and thank you, that was Oh, stunning. Thank you so much. Gisela, there we go. You guys are watching. Hi, Anne. All right, great. So is there anybody asking a question tonight or needing some help in what needs to shift or change for you? If there's nobody, it's okay. I have been guided that I need to focus tonight on us releasing pain and discomfort in our bodies. So let me know out there, is there anybody struggling currently with a physical ache or pain? Is there anyone with a physical pain or emotional or mentally or spiritually? Pain also and always can just um, manifest in our physical bodies. So whether it's physical, whether it's mental, whether it's emotional, just let me know. Is there anybody out there with pain? So here is how we deal with pain in our physical bodies. We can immediately boost our immune system. Hi there, Jillian. Wonderful. Thank you for joining. Let me know if you guys are struggling with some physical aches and pains. We have a headache over there. You know, when we start listening to our bodies, our bodies never lie to us. Our bodies will always guide us to what needs to change mentally, emotionally, spiritually, physically for us to create balance and harmony. There's emotional pain I see. So tonight, I really want to focus on some sounds and vibrations and bringing in feelings that can help you release pain. Um, wherever it is in your body. If you can learn to listen to your body, your body is your greatest friend. It never lies to you. It always tells you the truth. So headaches is often a sign of just doubting where you're at, feeling a little bit unworthy and unsure of yourself and of, you know, currently we have um, big interesting things happening in our world so a lot of us will have headaches feeling unsure of what's going on feeling unsure of ourselves tonight i want to focus on how we can release pain and make us feel better in our bodies immediately so first of all breathing is one of the most amazing techniques that you can use to release pain and sound of course so i'm going to just give you a couple of breathing techniques here to show you how to release pain in your body. We're gonna breathe in and out through our noses. So it's breathing in and out. Breathing in. So do a couple of nice sighs for me. Breathing in through the nose and we just sigh it out. Breathe with me, here we go. Breathing in and release. And release that sigh with a sound. So breathing in. Breathing in. And now we're going to do it in and out through the nose. When you breathe out through your nose, hold your mouth closed and you want to actually push the air through your throat so it will sound like this, breathing in. And when you exhale, it sounds like this. So my mouth is closed but I'm pushing the air through my throat, breathing in and out. Breathing in and out. So let's do a couple of breathing in and outs like that. Breathing in for four counts, in through the nose, hold it for four, and then we'll release for eight counts. When you breathe out, it's very slowly, very controlled. We'll just do four of them so that you can practice this on your own. So breathing in for four counts. Let's breathe in, two, three, 
four and hold two three four and out two three four five six seven eight and hold so you'll breathe in hold and out Hold. Out. In. Hold. And out. Take a deep breath in. Now, if you are really in pain and you do this exercise, just breathing in for four, hold it for four and release on eight, it will release the pain in your body. Suddenly you'll get more oxygen. You can swap it up and do a couple of diaphragm breaths, which is here in the diaphragm and it'll sound like this. <laughs> and you'll feel your diaphragm moving in and out. Make sure you blow your nose before you do that one. But it's really good to boost the immune system. If you have a high blood pressure problem, that is not advisable. But if you're, if you're fine like that, you can do a couple of deep belly breathings. So you feel your belly moving up and down, up and down like this. It's best to do these exercises while seated or while sitting down or even lying down on your bed. Do a couple of deep breathings in, for hold for four, out for eight, and then a couple of fast ones. And then slow again, breathing in for four, hold for four, out for eight, and hold and breathing in for four, hold for four, and out for eight. If you do these exercises and breathe in, in and deeply for at least 20 minutes, a headache will disappear. You will boost your immune system. Your body will suddenly receive more oxygen and you will feel better. This is a perfect immune booster. Another wonderful one is to combine it with sound. Now, I love to talk about this vagus nerve. It's the biggest nerve in your body. It's from the back of your brain and it goes to all your major organs. And it's taking information from the brain to the organs, from the organs to the brain. If this vagus nerve is sluggish, you'll suffer from depression and you could even have seizure or epileptic attacks. So now to naturally kickstart this vagus nerve, breathing, movement, sound, and just feeling good, feeling good and thoughts and feeling stimulates this vagus nerve naturally. So I want to invite you to do this with me for a little bit so that we can release any form of pain in our bodies. So we're gonna just breathe in, and I want to release it on a sound, and we're gonna just focus on the heart sound, which is ah. So I'm gonna just do four with you. Breathe in with me, and you're gonna just breathe in. Don't lift the shoulders while breathing. Feel your lungs expanding to the side, and your belly going out. This is belly breathing. This is where we get the deepest and the most oxygen in. So breathing in. And let's just release it on R. Ah. And whatever note is comfortable for you, breathing in. yourself breathing out you'll feel your belly moving away from your spine you can even put your hand on your belly and as you release the sound you will feel your belly dropping 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 back to the spine and as you breathe in it expands away from the spine again so breathe in and out on R. One more time, breathing in. Ah. And you hold. 
hold the tone until it's very strong and nice and straight. So these two exercises, just some very slow breathing, some fast breathing, <laughs> and just breathing in, holding the toe until the breath is finished, breathing in, make sure you make the lungs nice and full. This can help you release pain in your body. It boosts your immune system and makes you feel immediately better. So in this moment, let us, let us connect and I'm going to just sing a couple of vibrations and frequencies for you. Focus on your breath, just breathing in, peace, exhaling, release, breathing in, peace, exhaling, release. And I'm going to bring in some sounds that will help you feel better. Sound is very healing. Just allow yourself to release all resistance. Be willing and surrender. practice daily. Let's do belly breathing in and out. You boost your immune system and you will feel better. It is important to become calm and quiet every single day. Please sign up for my free training webinar. It will be wonderful if you can join me. I'm going to start on the 30th of March. You're going to receive three training videos and it's free. So sign up, join me and let's, let's just learn how we can access all the feel-good feelings that's within us. Release whatever limiting beliefs is blocking your success, your relationships, your wealth, your health, and really align yourself with all that you are to become all that you can be. My uh, link, I will leave the link there for you. Today, I wanted to focus on pain. So is there anybody that is having a question for me? I was truly guided today to focus on pain. I felt that people were struggling physically. And so um, join me tomorrow night again, 6.30. 6.30 and I will show you another couple of techniques, sing some beautiful songs that can assist you. And then just let's feel good together.
We don't have to be alone in this time of isolation. We can connect. We can feel good. This one is one of my most favorite songs because it is so healing because love will always guide us. Love will always show us what needs to change and shift in our reality so that we can be healthy. I'm going to end off with this song, especially for you. Sign up for my free training webinar and I'll see you tomorrow night at 6.30.
to share this video with your friends. If you know of someone that is struggling with pain, show them those breathing techniques, the sound techniques. Listen, let them listen to those vibrations and sound I created. Trust me, it brings relief. It really does. I want to invite you to come again tomorrow, 6.30. Tomorrow we're going to focus on... Mm, let's have a look at forgiveness. Let's see. Is there someone in your life that you need to forgive? And do you wonder why forgiveness is important? Let's talk about that tomorrow night at 6.30. I believe that forgiveness is the key to this love that you are. And it is also the highest form of protection. So if you currently feel unsafe in, in this world... Tune in tomorrow. Forgiveness is truly the highest form of protection. Sign up for my free training webinar and I see you again tomorrow 6.30. Love you, my friends.